Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the 23H2 feature update is busy rolling out. And I've already posted two videos on that today, and I'll leave those in the description. Now, the feature update is optional, as mentioned, and you don't have to install it. But if you have installed the feature update, and maybe you are not happy with the feature update, maybe it's giving you issues or problems, or it's not meeting your expectations, there is a way you can actually roll back, in case you're unaware, you can actually roll back to the previous version, version 22H2. Now, how we do this um, is we have to head to our settings menu, head over to Windows Update, and on the Windows Update page, click on Advanced Options, and here you'll see a recovery option. Click on that, and here you'll see Go Back. If this version isn't working, try uninstalling the latest update. You click on go back and here you'll see go back to your earlier build and then you can just follow the prompts and fill in and tick the boxes where you have to and you click on next and you just follow the prompts and that will roll back your system to version 22H2 if for whatever reason you are not happy with the 23H2 feature update. Now something to take note of, you have only got 10 days to go back, to roll back. So after 10 days, this button will be grayed out and you will not be able to roll back from version 23H2 to version 22H2. And that's an important point. So you only get 10 days. And then another thing to take into consideration is if we head over to our File Explorer and we head over to our C drive or whichever drive your OS is installed on. When the 23H2 feature update is installed, Windows backs up your previous version. So that would be version 22H2 in this folder called Windows Old. So let me just make that a bit bigger. Here we go. Windows Old. Windows.old. So this Windows.old folder is important because that's the backup of version 22H2. So if you have deleted this folder through Storage Sense or the Disk Cleanup Utility or CCleaner as an example or any temp um, file remover or cleanup tool, if this folder has been removed you will not be able to go back. So two things to consider. You've got 10 days and this folder needs to be installed for you to go back using the rollback and go back option available if uh, version 23H2 isn't working. So you can try uninstalling the latest update with this option. So just take note of those, those different um, points because they are important. And just wanted to bring that to your attention in case you're unaware. Easy to roll back if you are not happy with version 23H2 yet. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.